What's up, Turtle Riders? How are y'all doing out there tonight? Good? Excellent. Uh, give me one second. I am sharing this right now on social media. I encourage you to do the same. Uh, once again, our channels are as follows. Uh, on on uh, Facebook, you can follow me, follow me personally, Clarence Woods Emerson. Uh, that is kind of the Turtle Boy account. It's got like 25,000 followers close to it now. Uh, so get on there. It's where all the action is. Also, the Uncle Turtle Boy page is growing by the day. We're almost up to 13,000 followers on there. Uh, I've shared it on Twitter. My Twitter account, my personal one is at TB underscore Aiden, A-I-D-A-N. That's at TB underscore Aiden. Uh, I might make a new one up. I'm closing in on 3,000 followers there. Uh, but there's also another Turtle Boy account, at Turtle Boy Tweets, which I do not access. If I, if I logged into that account, the account would get shut down because they are, uh, you know, spying on me essentially they would know my device i couldn't do that uh so i'm also on parlor too you guys should get on parlor uh my account on parlor is at turtle boy i got like 3300 followers on there it's growing new social media so try it out give it a chance see what happens you never know it could turn into the next big thing yeah okie dokie so yeah go ahead and share those also if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that for me now uh how many how many subs we got brett on this channel you know what subscribers to the YouTube channel? I got yeah. Hold on, I'll go look. We got twelve thousand eight hundred fifty-five. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get that up to thirteen thousand, folks. Tell your friends, smash that subscribe button. Let's get our influence going on there. It's going pretty well. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Obviously, uh, it was our first show back from last Tuesday. Uh, I uh, we had Christmas and whatnot in there. Christmas fell on a Saturday. I think this oh, year. Yeah, yeah. You, you say fuck Christmas? Oh, yeah. Brett. Twice with a stick. Roughly. So Brett's here tonight, as you guys can see. It's a special Tuesday episode. Uh, no, you know, we're not doing the freaking, you know, the usual Saturday night stream. But we didn't have Brett on. We got to get Brett on. Uh, so what I'm going to do, because of New Year's Eve, too, I'm going to go tomorrow night, too. I'm going to go live this week today and tomorrow night. And then on uh, on Saturday night, the live show will be back in normal. So I think, yeah, what, Thursday is the... Do I have this right, Brett? Yeah, third Saturday is June, January second. New Year's sure. Eve is the thirty-first, and then tomorrow is the thirtieth. So I'm gonna go tomorrow night. Make sense? You're gonna go where? Live. Oh, so you're gonna go tomorrow and Thursday, three days in a no, row. Not, not Thursday. Not no Thursday. Thursday. No Thursday. And then still Saturday. Still Saturday, correct? Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, so we're gonna do that and. Uh, Right. Hey, Brett, is this the first time I've had you on since you disappeared? Yeah. So people were asking. We're going to do this? Or... Yeah, we got to talk about it. So uh, this is what I said. I said, Brett was, <laughs> Brett was hitting the sauce pretty uh, high. He was in rare form. And I think that he just missed a couple of layups. And he was, like, disappointed in himself. So he fucking rage quit. That was my take on it. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Glad that's well, out of no, the you got at least, all right, I got to at least give my piss poor excuse. And I'm not blaming anything but myself. But I was all fucking excited, all nerved up. 
early in the day, I said, hey, do you want to have some drinks on live? And he was like, no, nah, I'm not going to, but you can. I said, no, nah, I'll just smoke then. But I had already bought my booze. And I'm setting up the new mic shit and fucking trying everything out. And I have a couple. And I had a couple. And then I was like, well, let me eat something. And I'll just say, then I can have a couple shots. And I'll be good. I'll wait until the show. And that turned into a whole pint and like a six pack. So by the time the live started, I'm fucking shit faced. Next thing I know, I'm watching it two days later because I'm embarrassed for the rage quit. And I'm deep throating my brand new mic like a fucking fruit bag down in fucking P-Town. So not my proudest moment. I apologize. It probably, I can't say it won't happen again. Because I'm it very might. sporadic. So there's a chance it will. And I, I'm sorry for that one too. I didn't think it was possible for you to get nervous. Uh, only with this. Only with the, only with Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy's the only it's thing. Well, because it means so much to me now. By the like, way. Before I could have a few and I'd be fine, but now it actually means something. So I was I mean, going through. I, I I have like so many freaking pictures on my phone, and I'm like <laughs> going through and like trying to delete shit, right? And so I'm like going through older shit, and I found what is quite possibly the greatest yeah. Brett fucking post I've ever read in my life. If I can find this. Did I tell me to delete it? You probably <laughs> deleted it. Get this out no, of my phone before my I get it on a list. I forget. This is like how I found Brett. He was just like, oh, so this is what a guy, this is a, this is a quote from Brett in 2016. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Somebody, some woman tells Brett, Brett, your, your daughters would be, your, uh, your daughters would uh, be ashamed of the language you're using. And Ooh. Brett's response was No. My daughters would kick your cunt up through your fucking neck if you said a word to them, and my mother would light you on fire, and my wife would smack you in your fucking slit liquor, you soulless ginger piece of shit. Speak when spoken to before I make you go into sunlight, you fucking used tampon. <laughs> that doesn't don't sound like me. That I don't know why I have that. I don't know why. And that's why Brett's so hard to reach on Facebook because he's always suspended. Because the second he gets back from a suspension, we get a post like that. Yeah. Well, hey, set, you got to text that to me, though, because I might have that made into a poster for my living room. That's yes. beautiful. <laughs> into a poster. That's a good one. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> By the way, before we even get started on some of the good content, I just wanted the blog I just published out there, Ed Prisby. Selectman, S remember that guy who we roasted him a couple weeks ago, Brett? Let me pull him up here. Which one? I'll show the, you this guy. I called you an asshole. Drunk yeah, at work. They, 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 people have been, keep asking me about this. They're like, they see this new donate button on the website. Can you guys see this on it? Yeah, they see the new this thing. It says support our cause. PayPal is permanently banned. Turtle Boy for being inconsistent with their user agreement. You can't use PayPal anymore, blah, blah, blah. And so many people, Brett, have sent me this and be like, did you see this? They're like, did you see this? You're banned from PayPal. They won't let me donate. I'm like, yeah, I know. I put it up there. Like, that's yeah, I, how I, else would it get marketing it? thing. People are seeing this and they're like, they think it's like PayPal fucking put this up there somehow. And they're sending a message to us. No, 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 no. This is the new donate button, guys. So if you feel like donating, this is just like, maybe I need to word this differently. Or like make this part less prominent and just say. No, we'll you, you need to have production clip this as one of them shorts and then post it on the Clarence page. Because it's nice that people are concerned on one hand, but you can just do this. Boop, boop. And then put it on your Clarence page so thousands of people see it. And boom. Oh, I like that. Great. I like that. Yeah, so if you, if you guys, if you're on here and you want, just, it's really simple. You hit the Donate Bob button, you pick how much you want to do, continue, done, okay? Problem solved. That's all you yeah. do. So if you're interested, that's that. And uh, also the Super Chat function is available um, uh, during the live streams now because we are banned. It's been a month since I've been banned from PayPal. People are acting like, oh, my God, oh, he's going to be dead without PayPal. Still here, bitch. Still here. It's about to be another It's about to be another year. Of Turtle Boy in your face, and we're not going anywhere. I remember they said you were dead after you lost a hundred thousand follower Facebook page. They yeah, I've been dead a number of times, Brett. They thought what year was that? That was November twenty eighth, twenty seventeen. Not that it's traumatic or anything. 
No, yeah, yes. no, it was for me. I was mad as fuck. Oh, I'm still mad about that. We we have a huge fucking page. But yeah, but look, hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, and here we are. We're still going, and we're still roasting douchebags like this. Ed Prisby, the Grafton Selectman, I did a story on two weeks ago. We did a live show about him. He went on his uh, – did his drunken live stream. Uh, this one. Yeah, 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 I remember. The Grafton Selectman doesn't have a in this instance. Can someone explain that to me? In which he – I want to get to the part where he calls me a fucking asshole. Where's <laughs> Um, this elected official going out to address something called true loser. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Turtle boy, your best friend. No, we're not passing fines. I want people to know that we're not passing fines. Um, like, yeah. fucking asshole. Do you let's hear himself talk? Hold on. You fucking prick. There he is. There is all. I'm not even addressing you. Fucking prick. You fucking prick. That's what he called me. So anyway, I got the last laugh because Ed Prisby today, Brett, resigned. And I just, you probably haven't read it because I just published it like a little bit ago. And uh, he has this long bullshit thing about how his wife and his kids and his boss are all asking him to resign. And uh, basically, the you know, because he's so wanted, they're like, Daddy, when are you going to come home? Like, why, you know, Daddy... Do you have another meeting again tonight? Yeah, maybe you should spend time with your family, Ed. Not that the, not that the board of selectmen is the reason that you're not spending time with them. But the real reason, of course, he's quitting is because I exposed the fact that he wasn't wearing a mask in the store. He got caught red-handed. But it was really, Brett, the drunken live stream. Like that live stream in which you call me a fucking prick. Yeah, that all, stays. Yeah, like that's he took that down in shame the next day. And I'm he filmed it at the office. I'm sure his boss is like, do not – film your drunken live streams in the office like just at that- work without a mask calling people fucking dickheads and stuff. right exactly yeah. so right so anyway uh by the way th- my favorite part about the thing is he says that he goes he said his favorite part of being on the selectmen and most dear to my heart we have set in motion the construction of affordable housing First of all, nobody wants affordable housing in their town. Liberals pretend like they want it in their town. Nobody wants – like, why would you want affordable housing in your town, Brett? I wouldn't. Yeah. Like, what – like, let's be honest. Like, we all know who's coming in, okay? And I'm not talking yeah. about race. I'm talking about ratchets. I'm talking about Listen, ratchets. Listen, up well, here, you should see – you could do – you come up here for a weekend once you play rats are allowed outside your borders, you nasty Massachusetts fucks. You could just hang out here for three days, and I could bring you to all white ghettos. Oh, plenty, I'm sure. Like to where there ain't a a black person or a Spaniard in sight. Just a bunch of wiggers and white beaters. We have those, too. It's called where? Yeah, but I mean big ones, son. Okay. Big ones, not tucked away. Like that's the way of life in this neighborhood type shit. Not the one I'm in. Yeah, like like Amanda says, that's called wound socket, Brett. It's called Amanda. Is that Amanda Sawyer? <laughs> no, Again, no, no. Amanda hiding under her Amanda Maria account? No, I mean, you know Amanda I'm Maria. Like, that's fucking around. She's a rider that Amanda Sawyer just dropped off the face of the earth. That's another story for a different day. Um, but anyway, Whiskey Ed, as we call him, um, the best part about that uh, comment about loving affordable housing is you go in his AVO reviews and they're all about getting rid of tenants who didn't pay their bills, evicting. He represented a bunch of landlords throwing out tenants who weren't paying the rent. And guess where they're all living now? Affordable housing. So good job, Ed. That's the kind you, you absolute fraud. He's in the graveyard. See you later. Add him to the list. Bye-bye, Ed. You poked the turtle. You thought you could, you know, you thought you were smart. You thought you were quick. You, you drastically underestimated turtle boy. You drastically underestimate your turtle boy. All right. So anyway, let's go on to the next topic, Brett. Let's talk about the uh, new developments that a lot of people are talking about. And one of those new developments, right, is that uh, we, I heard back from Lemonster Court, K. Peter is not going to be charged in Lemonster District Court, which she is taking as some sort of victory. Now, if you recall, Brett, if you recall, I said on this program that I don't expect that she's going to be, that there's a good chance she's not going to be. Why? Because... She first of all, she had the, she paid for a lawyer, so jokes on her. Uh, but she um, basically 
it was her lawyer argued that the jurisdiction was wrong. Kate committed the crime in North Attleboro, therefore the uh, the the proper venue for this. Then it ain't their problem. Right, exactly. Yep. And not once, not once, right? <laughs> did uh, they make any attempt to like argue that you know? I'll bring it up right here. Uh, not once did he make any attempt to argue that she didn't hack into my account, right? Like that's the whole point. Like she hacked into my account. It's undeniable. She, you know, they wouldn't bother arguing that. And she's taking this, of course, as some sort of victory because to her, this is as good as it gets. So she posted, just to reiterate, Kate was charged with nothing criminally and will be charged with nothing criminally. We don't know about that, Brett, because next stage for me is now I will file my own complaint in the correct jurisdiction, which is uh, Attleboro District Court, because that North Attleboro is in that district. So I will be filing in that venue. Um, it will be without the North Attleboro Police Department because they don't understand how Facebook works, uh, and I wouldn't bother trying to explain it to them. And so she goes on to say they will be charged with nothing criminally. You don't know that yet. And his latest attempt at using the criminal justice system to harass her has failed. I'd like to point this out, Brett. I didn't attempt to use the criminal justice system. The Holden police did. Yeah, I was going to point that out when, like, during a break or whatever, when you were done reading. That this yeah. wasn't, it's not like you filed this and it failed. Yeah. It's like you were called in as a witness. It wasn't even your thing. Yeah. Like, I got, I got contacted by the Holden police and they said, Oh, just to let you know, we uh, we've uh, reviewed it all, and we, we we're we've uh, we're moving forward with a criminal complaint against her. So the Holden police chose to do this, okay? And they did all the talking at the hearing, and yeah, that's it. So uh, I did not choose to do this. Um, I was a witness. I certainly am a victim in this, and as a victim, I will continue to advocate uh, for justice against this hacker uh, named yeah. Catherine Peter, uh, who has lost three quarters of her children currently. And in the comments, um, you know, including completely fabricating, uh, let's see, if you believe anything that comes out of their mouths at this point, you may be intellectually challenged. Oh, sure thing, Kate. Now, I did notice that, and by the way, do you see uh, Polly Crispy's channels down, Brett? Down right. again? Well, does it back up? Because he had that uh, copyright strike I saw something about. No, I, I don't. Not that I'm aware of. I know he had turned off all commenting and stuff a while ago, and I lost yeah. interest. If I can't talk shit, I'm not going to fucking look at you. Right, you know? exactly. Right. Uh, and so, by the way, with all this, and B. Burke, shout out to B. Burke. Great comment here. I think you've gone at it with B. Burke, but credit to where credit is due here. He, had a, he, he, he has the most, the only comment that really matters. It's cool story. She still has only one out of her four children. And that kind of sums it up, right? It's like, well, yeah. You, this is like the biggest victory you have in your life is winning a jurisdiction claim in Lemons or District Court for a wiretapping charge. Like Dude, I told you beforehand, they, they did the same thing they did with an, a, an alleged armed robber. They're like, wait, wait, this ain't a, a Lemons the case. This is a Wister case. Yeah. Get, go ahead. We trust you. Head down to that other courtroom, Mr. the armed robber. They yeah. did the same thing with me. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of, it, it, I mean, so it's it's not like, doesn't mean you're not guilty, right? It just means that like, oh, it's in the wrong courtroom. Not you. No, I'm talking about oh, her. Oh, all right. We all know you didn't enough. it. No, I got found not guilty in yeah. a thing. So, yeah. You beat the charge, son. Good job. No, uh, I didn't beat it. it wait, wait, I, wait, I didn't wait. do anything. Move on, sir. The same, okay, we'll go. I think you're okay. crime shaming me. That's what yeah, the fuck right. I think you're doing. We're living in the past here. So yeah, a cool story she only has one of her four children. That kind of sums it up. If this is your, at least I have my kids at the end of the day and nothing you ever says matters because you lost three of your four kids. Okay. That's it. And somebody, she goes wrong again, she says. And so B Bark says, okay, if I'm wrong, you've had your daughter on your show, post a picture with your thumb on your forehead with your daughter right now, Bet you can't do it. And she says to him, I've never had my daughter on my show. Show me where I have. You can't. Um, I absolutely could post a photo with my daughter, but I won't because she's a child. Oh, but she, she could do it, Brett, but miss, you know, I show receipts won't do it again. All you have to do is just put a fucking, put your thumb over, her, pick over her face, have it time stamped. It's really fucking easy to prove it, but she can't cause she won't cause her daughter doesn't live there. Uh, maybe tonight I'll post okay. a, a, a photo of my family celebrating my birthday and, and block my kids faces out. 
Maybe I won't. Picture or not, my daughter was never removed from my care. You can scream it until the air in your lungs runs out, but it's not going to make it true. So our daughter did spend um, uh, Christmas, uh, I apologize, Thanksgiving in DYS lockup because she got into a fight with Kate. They got into a physical altercation. Kate blamed it all on her. The daughter got arrested because this is what Kate does when the cops, she thrown Andrew Johnson under the bus 20 times. Might as well throw her own daughter under the bus. She throws her own daughter under the bus. The daughter is now in DCF care where she remains. It's pretty, I mean, it's probably for the best, um, but let's not pretend like Kate is some type of like, like your kids are there. Okay. So anyway, um, good for, good for you for pointing that out. B Burke. Good job. Uh, I'd also, so let's talk about this part here. Let, let, this new thing here. Cause you guys are going to like this. I, I showed I showed you this before this we started, Brett, right? The old Yes, the old message. Okay. I want a picture of her daughter holding up today's newspaper. Yes. Is that that hard to ask? Is that that much to ask? I don't know. That sounds that's like some Iranian hostage taking type shit. You know? <laughs> Just to be fair. Just to be fair. I mean, the kid ain't there. I'm not no, saying I'm, I'm, but that that is some um, hey we got look it's proof of life it ain't that hard so it's anyway safe. uh on your friend Taryn uh Exxon Valdez's Facebook page yesterday you know they, Exxon Valdez. you know they they post about us constantly they're quite enamored with us Brett and they think they're witty but they're just really just not funny at all and they make basically make they think they're getting to us and nobody really pays attention to them anyway uh somebody sent me a screenshot of this because she has me blocked and uh, on the uh, comments, I saw a, a woman here named Sarah comments, and she says, huh? And Taryn says, uh, you know, all this nonsense about whatever, he's a scumbag, cheetah, his wife, all this shit. And, you know, the usual nonsense. And she goes, oh, shit, I don't watch the lives. His material's gotten pretty stupid since he let my friend go. So Sarah's friends with Kate, like they're like in real life friends. Now, I do want to say this, okay? I like Sarah, that. He let my friend go. Yeah. So I want to point this out. Sarah is a turtle rider. Okay. She has said like, and I've spoken to her. She seems like a decent person, um, but she's known Kate for like 10 years or some shit. Okay. And like they, she, so what, for whatever reason she posts this. Okay. Now I messaged. So I, I see this. Right. And I'm like, I feel a little bit betrayed. Obviously I'm like, what the fuck? This chick sends me story ideas, but she literally she, like to say, I don't watch the lies. He goes, she, he's obsessive and repetitive, like, and, and does the same shit. And so I'm like, his material's gotten pretty stupid. I, I pointed, she sent me a story idea, Brett, like last month. Now this, I'm not trying to shame her. I'm doing this to point something out. Okay. <laughs> so next thing you know, right. Um, you know, here's, by the way, here's the, the story idea she sent about a, a Brockton story. Okay. So there it is right there. And I, I messaged her. I'm like, what's up with that? You know, but before I do that, I go into the big eight chat. We have that group that we are in that, uh, you no, know, not we, not you, you weren't in it. She didn't, Ever. Want, you in it. She didn't want you in it. Cause she I didn't. Like you. And so it was like me and Kate and some other fucking turtle riders. I, I don't even know who formed the group, but I was in it anyway. I search for the name Sarah Jennison in this group. Okay. Cause I'm like, I bet like no matter what it is, Kate's talked about it in that group. She's ran her mouth about it <laughs> and I want to see what comes up. Now this is a girl who once again is defending Kate saying that's my friend, right? We agree that she seemed to be doing that. Yeah, in that post. Oh, absolutely. So let's see what Kate has to say about her. Shall we? Uh, see, this is extra satisfying for yes. me. Yeah, because they always threaten these fucking stupid fucking screenshots from this specific place when we were mad at each other, this and that shit we've already covered a million times between yep. us. And yep. I was like, oh, did you see? Yeah, before you seen it, you fucking half a retard fuck. <laughs> I saw that shit when it happened, you fucking yeah. moron. Yeah. And now it's gonna it's fighting her. That's just so. It has to be satisfying for you too. Oh, it's so satisfying. So I searched for Sarah Jensen's name in here. And let's see what Kate has to say about her good friend, Sarah, who is defending her publicly. Um, so there was a character named Nikki Ribeiro. I believe that's one of Chris Keegan's fake names. Yeah, uh, that was one of them. Yeah. Right. And so uh, they had asked her, um, they said, let's see, what did Nikki Ribeiro say? Um, which uh, they go, what's up? She, and, and by the way, the, the Nikki Ribeiro count is gone. So that's why it comes up as like a ghost avatar here. It's gone. But it said, Kate, 
what's up with that Sarah broad? She's a mess. And Kate responds, which Sarah broad? And Nikki says, Sarah Jenison or something. Kate responds by saying, okay, her response to this is, oh, she's a fat slob ratchet loser. Okay. This is the same woman who is literally just defending her <laughs> and she's calling her a fat slob ratchet loser. Okay. And, and she got, <laughs> and then Chris Keegan says, I'm friends with her some now, somehow what the fuck horror show. And Kate says, ha ha. It's so bad. So much fat and begging for handouts. <laughs> like what? Like, can you believe like Brett, like this is a girl once again. So the, again, this uh, like five minutes ago, the girl was saying, this is my friend. Okay. And, um, he's, you know, it's not as good since Kate left. And so I, I messaged her and I'm like, Hey, I see you're defending Kate. You want to see what she thinks of you? <laughs> Here's what she says about you. She says, you're a fat slob ratchet loser. And you are a, uh, <laughs> So bad, so much fat, and begging for him. Don't you hate to see it, Brett? You hate to well, see no, it. Well, no, 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 I don't. So you said that before on a similar story. I, I love to see it. I know. I, mean, it's people people that, I know, I know. But the more people that know and see her for what the actual fuck she is, I don't give a fuck about her kids. If she got one out of 12, two out of 13, I don't give a fuck. You're just a horrible fucking person, and you shit on everyone around you. And the difference between me and you talking shit about each other is we're mad at each other and we're in a fight. The difference between that and what she does is she's smiling in your face as she does it. Yeah. She's still pretending to be your friend as she's bashing the dick off of you in some way she thinks she'll never see it. Yeah. That's and, the difference. And, that, and that's what people don't understand. Like, and we showed Ashley Azevedo what Kate said about her. She's a problem, all this shit. Like, this is what Kate does. And it's like, you have to wonder. How many of these people, like, don't you get it by now? You don't think she's going to throw you under the bus? You don't think she's saying these things about you? You don't think, like, she, she it, unless you are useful to her, she's going to shit on you. And, and even if you want, like, I was useful to her for a while, and she was doing shit behind my back. Like, she'll do it to fucking anybody. She's, like, insane. She traded evil. Mitch like a fucking second-year Tom Brady card, son. You don't think she's going to do it to one of you motherfuckers? Oh, yeah. She's absolutely going to want something else is worth more than you. You're done. Exactly. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of uh, Mitch, so I get an email. Uh, so Josh Abrams is currently in jail, as we know. And somebody else is running the accountability for all page or whatever. And so they must have access to his social media uh, because they've been going through his messages. And uh, Masshole Mitch, whose real name is Michael Plummer from, uh, I believe he's from Reading. Uh, and Michael Plummer has uh, some interesting things uh, to say. Uh, this is what Josh, uh, when he, they were discussing hacking into my account, okay? <laughs> and he goes, I'm not condoning you hack into his shit. So good for Mitch. She said that. Then he said, Bristol said to call her um, around 3.30. As far as I'm concerned, as enticing as your little deal sounds, you can't bring yourself, I can't bring myself to work with you. I'll throw you one kudo for putting shit aside to bring down someone that has both wronged us, but I don't trust you at all. And it's a bad look on our part if we were to ever partner with you to bring down Aiden. Our beef is with Aiden. So this is uh, so Mitch is good for Mitch, right? Um, he's he, he's a man of principle. He's going to take down Aiden on his own without the help of uh, Josh Abrams. So he goes on to say, "You understand, we got slot going on right now. We got a lot going on right now. Next, our next show, he says, is all about Turtle Boy. This is mm -hmm. right, this is right after the breakup, Brett. This is like right after when I exposed some of their shit. And remember, they were like, "We're gonna expose him. We have all this shit with Sam Card and all this shit." And he goes, "He goes, I got a. He goes a lot. I got no problem saying it on the show. It's the fact that you can't admit when we catch you at blah blah." So, um, anyway, so he's like, "We got a lot. We're gonna expose Turtle Boy." And then he says, um, "Yeah, 
that's basically it. I guess we don't have that much. I thought I had more. I thought I had more. I'll get back to that. I could have sworn we I had more. But it's just interesting that uh, he he's under the impression, of course, that uh, he's going to take me down. But, of course, he's not. So, anyway, that's that. How do you come- pretend we didn't see the fucking things? Look, I, I know I already, already gave you Mitch. I already gave him up. But here's this cop, even though I post a month later this uh, pro-police fucking bullshit on the asshole report page. I forgot like, about what, the cop. You gave, you gave up a cop, lady. A cop you had zero fucking evidence on, by the way. By the way, didn't just give up a cop. Gave up a cop to Josh Abrams, the guy That's, who- Yeah, even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cops. Like, and you just gave fucking cops- Like, go after this fucking- t- Hey, talking. that's what it was. There was messages between Mitch and Josh or some shit. That's what you wanted to- There was other ones, though. Ah, oh, fuck. You said something before we came on. God damn it. Damn you, marijuana. All right, damn you, Mara. And by the way, thank you, Dave. It says, good to have the show back. Great numbers for Tuesday. Long live the turtle. Yeah, we got good numbers today. I'll what did you, it look, say there? He gave you he gave you 15 snakes? Pounds. What is that? Pounds. 15 pounds of snakes? 15 pounds of snakes. Yeah, that's what he gave me, Brett. 15 pounds of snakes. I don't know how Google's going to uh, pay that out, Jay. Oh, man. Gupta's going to freaking turn him into Gupta's snakes. going to have to catch that one for you, son. Yeah, Gupta's going to bring out his flute and give me... Anyway, uh, um, thank you, Seven Pounder. He says, uh, my white pickup truck has an alarm on it. Just saying. Excellent. Um, so, uh, by the way, they are doing a roast tonight uh, of Kate. Uh, it is her birthday. She's 33. She's the oldest 33-year-old in the history of the world. But uh, it's basically just a bunch of uh, ratchets on there. And uh, I don't know if you guys know, there is a – let me show you real quick. Uh, let me see. Mass uh, – you're gonna put that shit. We're not gonna sit and watch that bullshit, are we? Uh, uh no, we're not gonna watch it. I just want to show you who's on there because we saw who's on there, right? The roast of Kate Peter. It's uh, it's Matt. Our friend Maddie Moe is on there, and I know, yeah, I know it's like a sensitive issue because yeah, that, you can say what you want. Yes, I mean, yeah. uh, I thought I thought Maddie Moe was done with them. I was under the impression he was done. Uh, that I, he had I don't know the done with. Like, I don't know how they drifting about whatever i know that maddie stopped drinking fuck started working out doing good has other aspirations for his life and just kind of walked away from it. yeah that's what i that's what i was told that's the impression i was under and then um, yeah then all of a sudden he appeared as jeff I was half a bottle of gin deep. as jeff ross <laughs> i was pre potatoes and was then pre- <sighs> this is jeff yeah there he is and by the way tyrone the avatars are half the roast uh tyrone is uh ed takazawa pretending or mocking a, a black man. Remember, Ed or Ed Salazar. Ed is is not black, uh, but he's pretending to be a black man named Tyrone and doing it in the most racist and stereotypical way possible. Yeah, for, my, for this birthday... Booty hole to get fucking drunk quicker. Yeah, man, you better yeah. butt chuck that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's it. So anyway, that's oh, all. Oh, that is fucking Ed. Jesus Christ. Ed, Ed, Ed literally um, mock like it's so not they they bring their own racism to the show too. And you know, it's a little like, sweetheart at the bottom. Yeah. By the way, you know that I'm like, oh, that's Doofy down there. He didn't say, anything. <laughs> but you know that I'm like kind of like the last guy to throw around the race card, Brett, because uh, it doesn't really mean that much to me. But uh, if you're gonna call yourself Tyrone, and you're gonna because st- he drops a bunch of n bombs on the show because. He's black now, and so he can say that. So he feels like free to say it. And uh, he drops a bunch of M-bombs, and he calls, uh, you know, uh, he does the whole, like, yo, I got a big black dick. Like, he's doing that old fucking voice. And he calls himself Tyrone. Seems a little bit racist, no? I, yeah. yeah I got, well, I, I've dropped an N-bomb. Yeah, I'm not, the N-bombs don't concern me as much as the fact but that, like. Pre- literally pretending to be a big dick ghetto black guy. And yeah. yeah, that's a little different. I would say something he wouldn't do if he was using his real name. Let's just put it that way. And thank you, Carolyn says, uh, happy he's, birthday. I appreciate that. Thank and you. And he's Come not on. singing a Kanye West song or whatever fucking Kate Peter read his excuse was, right? No. He's just doing it on his own. He's just doing it on his own. All right. yeah. yeah. Way so, to take the high ground, pal. Good yeah, job. exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah. real quick, uh, one more thing here I want to talk about uh, this, sh- this, the story I did before the vacation about the, uh, the dude, the, the, um, what was it called? The guy from fucking, what you call it? From what's the town called? What am I thinking? The town was fucking, uh, 
Give me one second. Let me just pull it. I'll pull up the blog here. Um, the the iPad Psycho? Oh, Brock, the Brock, the Brockton. It's from Brockton, Jesus. okay? I'll pull it up. Hold on one sec. Time out. Time out. No need to yell. So uh, the in the city of Brockton, uh, the mayor has basically shut down all gyms, which makes no fucking sense because, like, I looked it up, Brett, and 0.06% of COVID transmissions take place in gyms. Gyms are one of the – are where we should be encouraging people to go to because – there's a virus out there that picks on the elderly and the morbidly obese. So it's probably a good idea to, you know, stay in shape. But uh, they Brockton has decided the gyms are the problem. I got news for you. There's a lot bigger problems. You're much more likely in Brockton to just get killed by a gang member if you are like a 40-year-old person than you are uh, by commie cold. It's just an undeniable scientific reality according to the data. And they've decided to close down gyms because gyms are clearly the problem. Anyway, uh, the mayor, uh, like I said, he shut everything down, but he's got this guy who works for him called, uh, named, what's his name? John Messia. Here's John Messia. There he is. Okay. John Messia, uh, the, the director of constituent services. And I got a thing and I see this. He's, he's tagged in this Christmas picture photo. Okay. No. There he is, like with all his buddies, no masks on, different families, no social distancing. And guess what, Brett? I don't give a fuck. I hope they do. Everybody should do this. Like, who cares? You live your fucking life. I, it doesn't bother me. My problem is if you own a fucking gym in Brockton, you're being punished while John Messia is getting a full salary to be an asshole and shut you down. Okay? And, and the hypocrisy of it all is just astounding. And that looks a lot so, closer than you would get if you were using equipment near each other in, say, a right. gym. Exactly. And I'm yeah. sure they're talking loudly and all this shit. Like, in the gym, you don't that you're socially distanced from all these other fucking things. Like it's, it's impossible to get it in the fucking gym. So uh, yeah. anyway, let me show you um, the message I got from the woman here. Her name is Beth Proman Curtin. And oh. she sends me a message uh, right after that blog went up about it. And you got to see the entitlement in this, Brett. Like it'll drive you nuts. I would appreciate if you took down the pictures at my home down I have nothing to do with any of this bullshit. It's harassment and invasion. My privacy, my page is not public. Time out, time out. Your page is public. How the fuck else do you think I saw it, girl? Okay. Uh, and what she doesn't realize is like I'm Facebook friends with a couple of her friends. We have mutual friends. And when you, even when your page is private, if you tag someone in it and I have a mutual friend with that person, I'm going to see those posts. Okay. So she doesn't understand that. Anyway. And either way, nothing on Facebook is private to begin with. You have absolutely no right to take pictures off my Facebook. Actually, I do. And post it. I'm not the one of those scumbags that you write about. Uh, I would beg to differ, okay? And I want to make this clear. The Corona Bros, if you are complicit in shutting down private businesses, if you are complicit in this uh, of making sure my kid can't go to school, you're right. You're not one of those ratchets. You're much, much much, much worse than them. You are fucking evil. I, I don't hate ratchets. I think ratchets are so, kind of funny. I laugh at them. A lot of them are scumbags, uh, but I don't really hate them. I hate the Corona bros. I, and, and there's nobody I hate more than Corona bros <laughs> who shut you down while not following their own procedures. So you're right. You're not one of those ratchets. You're worse. Okay. Now I feel attacked and afraid I'm heading down to the police station right now. Is that, has it always been like that? Because recently, every PM you got has that exact fucking, I'm going to the police station today. Yes. Or right now, I'm taking this conversation on social media to the detectives as yeah. we speak. Is that a yeah. new thing or people always threaten that to you? Uh, I, it's happening a lot more than it used to. Oh, right. Since fucking Karen's and the fucking yeah. boomer remover and everything. They, they see, they're getting yeah. even softer. All these little fucking plague rats that, oh, well, Hey, we can get rid of Corona. How about 8 billion of us fly to Texas and Florida for the weekend? Yeah. You know, fucking plague rats. You, <laughs> at this point, it's natural selection. Unless you're like old and already got a foot out of something. Now it's natural selection. I'm even yep. more boomer remover now than I was. Yeah. So, um, Fuck you know, uh, uh, anyway, so she goes on to say, yes, I had a small family gather, a small gathering of family and friends of 10 people 
And I don't give a shit if we had masks or didn't have masks. Nobody really knows. We weren't a bunch of teenagers. We are in our 50s and 60s. And even one gentleman in, is 72. We took precautions. I'm sorry, there's people that are very jealous out there, but that's not my problem. She actually said that, Brett. You're jealous of her. It's not, I, I'm not pointing this out to, to show what a fucking hypocrite this douchebag is. No, no, no. I'm doing this because I'm jealous of her, Brett. And you know what? Maybe I am a little bit. She gets to fucking have parties and do whatever the fuck she wants, and our gyms are closing. What'd you do for your birthday? Anything? Were any, with any people besides from your house? I had to go to fucking New Hampshire, Brett, to like go to a fucking restaurant like with a couple people and yep. uh, you know eat food without a mask on. That's what I had to do. I had to go to fucking New Hampshire. Was it awesome though? It was fucking great. I love New yeah, Hampshire. I figured it was so much better than this fucking state. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Maine, Maine's just as bad as Massachusetts, isn't it? As far as freedoms go. Well, we don't want any of y'all up here, but you yeah. can still do everything with a mask. Yeah. Like I went to the dispensary today with the old lady. And as long as you throw a mask on, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Shaws everywhere. As long as you got a mask on. Yeah. But we don't want like it's an order if if plague rats or people from Massachusetts yeah. want to come here, you need to bring tests and take tests and paperwork, all kind of crazy shit. They don't want none of y'all up here. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to know, like, how does she know that it was like, what makes her, we took precautions. Uh, I've seen the pictures. You took exactly zero precautions and that's okay. I have no problem with it. But you are a massive hypocrite. I just cannot believe she called us jealous. I'm like, do you understand the hypocrisy? Do you think it's fair that John Messia can shut down gyms and then go to parties like that? And she goes, first of all, he didn't shut down gyms. Mine is still open. I don't live in Brockton. She actually said that, Brett. No, 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 no. no. He only shut down the gyms in Brockton. Yeah. I don't know a fucking gym in East Bridgewater, so it's not my fucking problem. So who gives a fuck? Yeah. Can you believe the entitlement of this cunt? Seriously. I mean, to say something like that. No, no, no. He didn't shut down my gyms. He just shut down gyms for the black people. Okay? The white oh. people still get to go to gyms, right? I mean, that's what she's saying. No? Like Planet Fitness and shit, those places? Well, she shut down. The the gyms in Brockton are shut down. People of color live in Brockton, okay? Well, I know. One plus one equals two. I get it. Right, you get it. Like, so you understand? Like, she's like, basically, not my problem. <laughs> that's Brockton's problem. He shut down their shit, Okay. Um, yeah, we, and she doesn't seem to understand the problem here that like this guy who is at your fucking thing, he's part of the administration that shut this down. So he did shut them down. Okay. Which no, like you said, it's the entitlement. It's the, Oh, that doesn't affect me. So I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I want. What he did is what he does. I don't care. We had a great brunch or whatever the fuck they were doing there. Yeah. Sucking dicks. He goes, I had a small gathering of 10 people which five are relatives, and if you knew me or us, you would realize that we've been with the same group since COVID started, not to mention the other nine people had uh, nothing to do with it. Uh, uh, putting a picture of my home is not right. I would get, look at the syntograph. I would know, how, how do you say that? And, and we've all been together since the start of COVID. What like it's the walking fucking dead, like they're a little settlement in the fucking a, a ring of fucking RV. We yeah. haven't all been together for nine months, you dizzy bitch. Shut the fuck Ten up. Months. Ten months. Almost. Put her baby while. pictures up tomorrow. Fuck this cunt. Twice. Yeah, yeah exactly. Thank you, Seven Pounds. Yeah. Just because I support you, no reason. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, and I would hope you would see yeah. that it was it was just a get together, not a Christmas party. So it's not a Christmas party. It was just a celebration of some accomplishments that I didn't put out there. So it's okay. It's yeah, the, yeah, it was the just a a right. festival of box wine and dick, so it's it's yeah. okay. We were protesting, actually. We yeah, were protesting it, it, anal retention. Go fuck yourself, you entitled fucking cunt. Th this is an exact quote from the mayor of Brockton. We need to try to stay home. We should not congregate. We really need to limit social and non-essential gatherings. Okay, non-essential gatherings this is like the first thing you fucking said. Of course, it's ridiculous that you would suggest doing that. But the fact of the matter is, he is suggesting it. This guy works for the mayor, and he's not doing it. So why the fuck should anybody else? Yep. Yes, I had a small gathering of family. We, you know, I don't give a shit if we had masks or didn't. Blah blah blah. Um, uh, which she goes on to say, um, 
Again, there was 10 people, and I believe for an inside group, that was the role. And again, he didn't shut down the gyms. He's a hardworking man with a family like the rest of us. And I feel you put myself and my home in danger when I did nothing wrong. If you saw 25 people there with a big bash, I can understand that. But we were 10 adults in our 50s, 60s, and one gentleman even. Who cares how old you fucking were? We took precautions. Again, I just wish people would get their facts straight first. We're a heart. Like, all nothing she said has meant a fucking thing. It's just right. ranting about the same nonsense about like, we're friends. Like, it's okay. Me, 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 It has a gym rat hole. I, I go seven days a week. I understand the frustration of closing a gym. And that's why when it closed in March, I bought a treadmill. And that's why last week I got a Peloton. Oh, so she, she doesn't what need three does this have to do with anything? Basically, she's saying... Just buy a fucking Peloton if you can't go to the gym, right? There's only $3,000. Yeah. Just go buy a fucking Peloton, right? It still doesn't give someone the right to trash somebody who is trying to enjoy a little company for a couple hours during this awful year. Again, we are good people, and if you knew one of us, you would And enough with this word, yeah, good if people. you knew one of us. Yeah. Listen, I don't, I don't hang out with the fondue and dildo crowd lady, all right? So I don't want to know any of you fucking pretentious fucking assholes. Yeah. Not one of you. Yeah. People like me scare people like you. How about right. that? Exactly. Like, uh, like enough of this. Like, I'm a good person. <laughs> not uh, you're not. If you if do, you're, enough with this shit. I'm declaring war on the Corona Bros. If you are still pushing this whole fucking like, we need to lock everything down and you're, the school should not open. No, fuck you. You're my you're my enemy. Okay. Enough with this. Like, we can all get along to get along. No, this is the fucking breaking point. This is the issue that we can't fucking just agree to disagree on. You're fucking evil, and you need to be fucking destroyed. Thrown in jail, hung, tarred and feathered, thrown into the sea, whatever the fuck it's got to take. We just can't fucking live together anymore, okay? Because you're fucking insane, and you're a fucking dickhead, and you're an asshole, and we just, I can't, I can't live away. I can't do it anymore. Not for nothing, but we wouldn't even know your name, your house, nothing. If that fucking Pete, that fucking dick tick wasn't there at the fucking, at the fucking cock party. You right, know what exactly. I mean? Like, it ain't our fault you had this Brockton plague rat over for fucking dicks and dips. For fucking, for whores and hors d'oeuvres or whatever you fucking fruit bats are doing over there. Yeah. So blame him. It's his yeah. fucking fault. He's the one who wasn't supposed to be doing it. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, somebody's asking, a few people have asked, is Super Chat working? It seems to be. I see it on, on a phone that the, the dollar sign button. You can just press that and I think it works there. A few people have donated. So, um, Feel free to join the party as well. Um, anyway, it goes on to say, um, karma into the person that wants to destroy somebody's life. It's really sad, and I do hope the gym's open real soon. It'll tell your fucking friend then. I support local businesses every single day, oh, especially oh, the restaurants, oh. and just because they're closed in Brockton doesn't mean you can't go to the other gym. Bitch, you're missing the point. If you own a business in Brockton, that doesn't do you any fucking good, does it? Oi. I don't. I, I just. I'm so. I'm just so over it. Just so all of you get it and die. Just hurry up. Yeah. So anyway, hurry, hurry, he goes hurry, on to hurry, say hurry. the mayor did it, and half the people at the Brockton Y are now in East Bridgewater because I saw them this morning. Half the people that were at Planet Fitness are now at the one in Middleborough. Yes, they have to travel for another week. It is what it is. So I guess the only people that are suffering at the private gyms are the private gyms. But again, you can go to other towns. To work out for the rest of the year, and if it's the only thing you're basing it on, that's sad. The gyms will survive. Most of the gyms are changed. I can't stand the fact that I had to wear a master in my classes at the gym because oh. Baker, but I'm not going to follow him around and post pictures of his family members. And it's, you should. Maybe you should. Maybe you Holy should. Holy shit. Read this broad, dude. She had nothing left. What? Yeah. Who has the time to just say all this? Just verbal diarrhea about nothing. So far, it's either spend eight hundred dollars on a Peloton or a Pelabone or whatever the fuck it's called, or go to the big chain gyms that won't shut down no matter what happens. They're like the Walmart of fucking squatting, but those people that worked hard and run and own a gym and it's a small business, they can go fuck themselves. And as long as I don't post Charlie Baker's kids in front of their house, I'm a better person than you. Essentially, right? essentially, that's what they're getting at. So how do you how do you say this shit out loud? You that's the kind of shit you should delete when you sober up that next day, and you notice that PM sitting on read, and you're like, oh, I said all that. Oh, let me get rid of this. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. She would tell us, call her up. She would say it now. Do you do that on your weekday show? Call people. 
No, who, right. who, who's the person I'm calling? This one that keeps talking about Peloton. Oh, oh, should I call her? Sure. Let's fucking call her. Let's she see seems talking to as fuck. She is. She is, and she hasn't blocked me yet, so that's interesting. Well, I mean, yeah. What's her name again? Her name is, uh, I think, Rhonda. Karen. Her name is Beth Proman Beef Curtain. Okay. Beth Proman. There she goes. Okay. Let's there call her. There she goes. Fucking cunt. Jesus Christ. I bet you only dogs can hear it when she spots. She's so uptight. Just... Oh, that sounded like a bomb. Okay, she doesn't appear to be answering. No. Shit. Okay, so we'll try it another time. Anyway, um, so here's the deal. I had a couple more things I want to talk about, but I'm going to save some for tomorrow. And I, I, you know, we need to get back on here tomorrow. Can we get David the Druid back on? David, are you out there? Can we get David back on tomorrow? Feel like he was God. there a minute ago calling people right cunts and such. Oh, so. good. So he's, he's, back I think he's, in he's, in it. he's his jolly self. We haven't had him on for a while, so we got to get David back on it. So anyway, why don't we do this? Why don't we end the show, guys, with a little... Um, oh, there he is. Um, and I want to do the Emily Knee story tomorrow, too. Uh, so if we have any um, questions or anything, we've had some good stories this week so far, as usual. But uh, So what's, with the, what's the plan with the fucking um, the window liquor there that's making videos and all this other shit? Oh, nothing. I mean, I'm not going to pay attention to it. He's in the same. He's in that same realm as that. What is the other guy called? Kate Peter Sports now Rebel. Yeah, Rebel Kate even, Peters. He, That's he, the same category. Yeah, essentially, but even less. All right. No, all right. At least that guy has even you know, less. You just said even less because even at least that guy has like infiltrated yeah. with Kate Peter and got some promotion that way out of it. Whereas mm -hmm. this other guy, I didn't even know he existed until someone pointed it out today. Like, there's a guy I blogged about like a month ago, guys, who sits at home, and uh, okay, I, I, yeah, I, I, I even know. forgot his fucking name. He Smoke, sits at home I don't know his name either. And he smokes weed all day, and he he was Has trying to, to get sell rides him. to the market to do right. his EBT. Yeah. He was trying to sell his kids school issued iPad. He's just been on rampage, like nonstop, sending threats and harassing, and he started his own YouTube show about me. And I didn't even know it existed until someone pointed it out today. And I won't even acknowledge who it is or where you can find it because it's just not – that's what they want, you know? Yes, people in the comments. Aiden will be on tomorrow, and I think with Dave the Druid. So, yes, Dave and Aiden tomorrow. Wow. Yes, that's the plan. I'd like, I'd like to go on with David. I'd like to go on with David. Uh, so, yeah, like the stories I didn't get to. Um, I could just – Jillian – I know Jillian wants me to talk about the, um, the story from today. She liked that one out of Boston. Uh, the Emily Knee story, I think her name was. Which one? What? You no, got a lot. You've been busy. I, I can't even keep track. This one, what the fuck did that one do? Um, is it bad that I can't even remember what I blogged about today? Like, I no. And see, that's, that's kind of the point earlier in the show when you were talking about you don't hate the ratchets and stuff. And I, I think it's close to how I look at it to where it's just an, an amusement. It's getting the word out that, hey, this person's scamming or selling food sale, whatever the fucking ratchetness is. Yeah. And then the next day, guess what? There's another one and yeah. another one and another one. They don't stand out to me either unless they make a fuss or they say or do some real dumb shit afterwards. And then they become a thing and a punchline. Like most of y'all wouldn't understand if I just put I was murdered dead in caps in the comments right now. But that lady became a punchline in the lore of Turtle Boy. That's what happens if you keep pushing it. You exactly. end up a permanent fucking joke and might end up on a t-shirt if I can think of something clever to say about you, bitch. No, we need some wanted t-shirts. We need so more don't fucking push it. When I do Turtle Club, I'm gonna be, and that's coming soon. I'm gonna do like a, a t-shirt of the month thing. And we need we can have some fun with that. We could put you know favorite ratchets on there and stuff like that. I'd love to have just a wanda t-shirt. That'd be great. A wanted Ooh, that t fucking sign. Murder dead. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. Uh, all right. Um, let's uh, take any questions uh, that people 
the, the Quincy Nativity Vandals. I'm still waiting on that. Uh, uh, there hasn't been an announcement that they've been arrested or what, but um, I almost forgot about that story. That was p- before Christmas. New lawsuits. Oh, the woman who was standing. Yeah, th- there are no new lawsuits. I, I, they stopped fucking suing me. As soon as I just came into the company, Brett, it became mm. not nearly as much fun to sue me. So they stopped. Oh, by the way, Ryan Waters had his lawsuit. Uh, he tried to get a temporary restraining order against me, Facebook, Google, and shit. Maybe I'll bring that on tomorrow. Facebook, yeah. I got Facebook and Google's court documents of their response to Ryan Waters, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's so funny to watch these expensive Boston attorneys for Google that probably cost like $800 an hour. Just yeah. rip Ryan Waters to shreds. It's yeah, a thousand crazy. bucks for every after David. Yeah, uh, you know they ran up the bill too. It was a uh, long one. What like, did you? Yes, I, I, I would have called an expert to decipher whatever the fuck it is that he calls handwriting. I write like a retarded monkey, but this motherfucker is like if I wrote in left hand. I'm right-handed. If I tried to write something in with my left hand, it looks like Ryan Waters' little statements that you'd show. Yeah. Like it looks like they should be in crayon. Yeah, that's the worst handwriting I've ever seen. So maybe I'll do that. I'll bring on tomorrow. I'll show you guys the Google and Facebook responses, and they both use Section Two Hundred and Thirty of uh, the Communications Decency Act, which, uh, as their defense against him, basically Ryan is suing Facebook and Google uh, because uh, Facebook allows me to share my blogs about him on their page, and YouTube allows me to talk about him on their platform, which is owned by Google. So he's suing both of them. And uh, they use Section 230, which says that basically uh, platforms cannot be responsible for the content of third uh, of third party, you know, uh, publishers like me. Like, so yeah. basically they're saying like, we didn't publish that. So what the fuck, you know? And they do actually read, it's very interesting. They not only use that, uh, defense. They also look into my, they actually, it's weird, like Facebook and Google talking about me. It's weird, but they actually defend me a little bit. And I, I can show you those um, a little bit later, but I don't think it's the first time either one of them people have had conversations with your name. In them. No, I, I, well, it's just, I'm honored to know that like these multi-billion dollar tech companies are talking about me. It's just amazing that Ryan Waters of all people can get their attention. Like the most powerful companies on earth, Brett, yeah. have to take time out of their day to hire attorneys to deal with a homeless man named Ryan with an eye, Waters. That has nightmares of fruit. Yeah, that because he's suing because because of Facebook and Google, he can't eat mandarin oranges. Uh, he's suing over mandarin oranges. So oof, okay. let, me, let me go to the questions. People have any questions? Uh, if I, if you ask questions, feel free to. Uh, Gaffney, yeah, Gaffney's Facebook is back, but fuck him. Um, so he's back on the sauce again. That's great. Did I show you? Him telling me to fucking kill myself and using a, a 22, like that veteran suicide logo to do it. He PM'd me a picture. Yes, I did. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. If you need a sign to kill yourself, and he blacked out and put, this is it. It's like, dude, you're the one crying because you're in the National Guard and you nicked one of your fucking manicured nails or something. And now you're making fun of veteran suicide telling me to kill myself. This is where your life is. I know you don't like talking about him. But go fuck your mother. And you got this broad that's got you running scared because you don't know how to read insurance contracts and shit. And you're fucked, you little cuck, dildo in the ass, taken piece of shit, coward. Run to mommy Kate now, you fucking little fairy. Fuck you. And you fake titted fucking ugly cunt ginger piece of shit. I bet you she gets blasted out by Pepe and the crew while you sit in the corner and ass fuck yourself, you fucking cunt. What were the questions? <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, that's good. That's good, Brett Rand. Uh, but but Uncle Gus says, when the Kansas City Chiefs lose in the playoff, what round do they lose in, and how much? I think they're going to lose in the AFC title game to the Buffalo Bills. I think the Buffalo Bills are not only. I think they'll make the Super Bowl. We'll see what happens when they get there. They're good at losing Super Bowls. I just. I'm sorry. I, I think they'll get there, but I think Green Bay is taking the whole thing. Green Bay looks good, man. The Green Bay. Uh, Aaron Rodgers looks like a man on a mission because uh, they've been drafting Jordan Love. It was the greatest thing that ever happened to the Green Bay Packers because Aaron Rodgers was on the, the decline, and that lit a fucking fire under his ass. And they're back. The Packers are back. They look like the best team in the NFC. 
Uh, I don't know who can beat them. Maybe the Saints if they get a if they get the Breeze can get going. Uh, maybe maybe Tom Brady because Brady's gonna have the easiest game by the way because they they're gonna get the five seed the Tampa Bay Bucks are and they're gonna get to play the winner of the NFC East which is an automatic win which by the way the the five and ten New York Giants Brett can win that fucking division the five and ten Giants okay yeah, the, cow, the cowgirls can win it. Uh, and of course, the 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 Redskins. They're still the Do Redskins. you ever remember a, a division being this piss poor, to where like not one team is even? No. You know what I mean? No. They might get a six and you might get a six and ten champ out of that division. Uh. Because here's the deal: the Redskins, by the way, who the fuck are they playing this week? They're playing. Um, are they, oh, they're playing the Eagles. They're both playing the division teams. They're playing the Eagles. The Cowboys are playing the Giants. So, like, let's suppose the Giants win that game. They go six and ten. Thank you, uh, Brittany says. We want to see the right. I promise I'm showing them tomorrow. Promise. Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate it. You'll see them tomorrow. Uh, oh, Brittany. They're playing the, six, the, the if if the Giants win that, they go to six and ten. And then if the Redskins lose, they're also six and ten. The Giants win that fucking division. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. So we'll see what happens. Is your boy staying? What? Fuck scam Newton. Is he done? Uh, Oh, he, oh, he's so done, man. I can't I – mean, you know, as a Cam Newton guy, I defended him forever, but come on. Come on. He, dude, he's on pace for 5.3 touchdowns this year. He can't <laughs> throw. He can't fucking throw. It's, it, I've, I've never seen anything like it. He can't throw the fucking football. Last night, like, Bill Belichick's hesitance to bring in Jared Stidham. People are like, man, Stidham must suck. No, you're underestimating how stubborn and egotistical Bill Belichick is because he can't ever be wrong. And the fact of the matter is he's been exposed this season. Although I will say this, Brett, I will say this. We went, Bill Belichick went 11 and five with Matt Castle. Okay. 11 and five. And Mm -hmm. he did have Randy Moss and Wes Welker on that team. However, um, I think that's kind of a testament to just how bad Cam Newton is. The fact that like Bill, you can't even win with Belichick as a coach. Like he's done. He can't ever be a starter in the NFL again. He's done. I don't know if Jared Stidham's the answer, but we need to fucking find out. Yeah, I certainly will be starting against the Jets, who are, by the way, the hottest team in football now for some reason. I can't fucking believe that. And so all the season this year is going to be lit, I think. All the team jumping and everything is going to yeah. be record-setting, I think, this offseason. Yeah, I mean, Cam does seem like a nice guy, but it is what it is. He can't he can't play football. So, and he'll He's understand. a little freak, though. Come on. Dressing up yeah. like a fucking chick all the time and all. Enough with that bullshit. Yeah. Come out with your T-shirt and jeans on and blame yourself and get the fuck off camera. Come out looking like Mary fucking Poppins and shit. So uh, we want <laughs> them now. Can you put them? Okay, I will put them in a – how about this, Brittany? Just for you because you donated. I'm going to put them in a blog prior to the show tomorrow so you get to read the court docs. I'll just put them <laughs> in a blog. You can see those over, um, et cetera. I will do that just for you. Um, but anyway, I think that I th- here's what I think is going to happen, Brett. I think that the, the Bucks are going to beat whoever wins that division. Then they will get to play the Packers. That is a fucking playoff game for the ages right there. Packers against fucking um, uh, uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. And I, I think the Packers will win that, though. I mean, we'll see what happens. I think the Packers beat them this year. They've already played. Uh, then in the other games, you got um, the two seed is going to be um, who the who the it's the Seahawks and who else is eleven and four the Saints. So let's say the Saints get the two, they'll play Arizona or Chicago. They'll win that game, no problem. And then the Rams fucking suck now. I, I don't know that Rams blow. I believe in the Rams for a while. They'll get to play the Seahawks. They'll lose that game. So the Seahawks will play the freaking Saints. Who do you like in that game, Brett? Saints. Saints. So you like yep. Saints? You like Saints Packers NFC title? Yeah, absolutely. No, no chance the Bucks get in there. I don't. I don't see it. They, that game. I. I did see it up until they just dropped that game a week or two ago to some garbage fucking team. Was it the Jets? I don't remember. Fucked up. But you know what I'm saying. I was like, nah. Wasn't that. So who do you got in the Super Bowl then? You got Packers. Packers. Yep. Okay. Now yep. Let's go AFC. We got Kansas City is going to get the one seed. Then the second seed is going to be Buffalo. The third seed is going to be Pittsburgh. Uh, who had a freaking big win against the Colts the other day. And then the next five teams in the AFC, Brett, are all 10 and 5. Tell me which of these five teams does not make the playoffs. You tell me. Tennessee, Indianapolis, Cleveland, uh, Miami, Baltimore. Cleveland. Well, they get to play the Steelers, Brett, and the Steelers have nothing to play for. So they're probably going to win that game. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and but it's a division game, and look at us. We we beat Kansas City this year, and we're dog shit. You know what I'm saying? Those division games, uh, you know, as a fucking AFC guy, those division games are not but nice. Pittsburgh has nothing, but Brett, they're not. Big Ben might not even play. They have nothing to play for. They can knock their rival out. Yeah, but I mean, isn't who cares? What do they care With about? With that rivalry, absolutely, they care about. I guess that. they could. I guess they could. You're right, but you know, I I know you say Cleveland, but the only one who's an underdog is is the Dolphins. They're playing the Bills. Who also have don't have much to play for, but I just that all five like the, the the Colts are playing the fucking Jaguars. They're play, favored by fourteen. The Titans are playing the Texans. They're gonna fucking murder them. And the Ravens are like the hottest team in the AFC right now. They're playing some crap bag bullshit. Oh, they're playing the Bungles. So everybody's playing an awful team. All five are probably going to win. Yeah. And that would mean the Colts are left out in that scenario. All right. So we'll see what fucking happens. I like the Bills coming out of the AFC. Who do you like? Buffalo, I think. Oh, I like Buffalo. I mean, great. Buffalo Packers Super Bowl is going to be the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. Okay, I, I agree. We agree. When do you think KC goes? AFC. They gotta, they're not going to yeah. lose in the first round to whoever they play. They're going to lose to the Bills. Dude, they lost to me, and we suck. No defense whatsoever, and we beat them. You, they just have. They just have your number. I don't, when the when the Chiefs. No, play, because we made, right? we made him stay in in the pocket. No scampering around. And we made them play football. Yeah. Brett, and any of these teams you're talking about do that way better than the fucking Faders do. The Rangers, though, Brett, it's like, I mean, they were okay at times this year. They sucked towards the end. but that, That's that's every fucking year. By the way, suck, I love your suck, avatar. Suck, suck. I, love you. I love your avatar, by the way. That's my boy, Paulie Crispy over here. Be nice. Hey, I know my life sucks, and I know I'm a piece of shit, but could you PayPal me a couple dollars? These new ports ain't cheap. Oh, yeah, and I need tampons and a Christmas gift for my crotch room. Fuck you, you fat, dumpy cunt. You cake puppet piece of shit, diabetic fuck. Go die slow and painful, fucker. <laughs> fuck him. Okay, and by the way, nobody was even turned into a fucking show tonight. It was really fucking awkward. Like, I'm there's like 100 people there the whole time. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. It, it, you hate to see it, but you kind of like it. All right, like anything else, guys, before we call it a night? Any more questions? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Freedom of Information Act. Uh, Freedom of, um, thank you for the reminder, Melinda. I'll follow up on that this week. I promise. It's one of the five billion things on my to-do list. All right. Since no one does, I'm going to ask. What? what? about that turtle club, son? No. T- so when- tomorrow with my web developer, I'm actually sitting down <laughs> and we are practicing a live stream. So I'll be practicing because oh. – how the live stream is going to work, guys? It's it's not going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on the blog itself, and only people will be able to watch it who are in the Turtle Club. So you'll have to sign in and use your password and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to be testing it out tomorrow just to see, work out the bugs, stuff like that with my web developer. So it's actually fucking in the work awesome. real soon, um, etc. Cool. Ratchet of ES. So one of the things I want to do tomorrow, Brett, is go over. I like to do a yearly review. So I'm going to ask David, the, David the Druid, to come up with this five or ten best blog, favorite blogs of the year. And yeah. uh, I'm going to be. I always do the hundred biggest, uh, most page viewed uh, blogs on Turtle Boy this year, and I'll have something like that on Thursday. So, uh, what do you think was the most viewed blog this year, Brett? It wasn't even close. Just a, just a hint. Kind of Patrick's. No, you'll never, you'll never think of it. Yeah, I hate when you do this. Just tell yeah, me. Like, it was in January. It was that story out of Springfield where that uh, driver, uh, Amanda Disley, uh, the kidnapping. Remember that little girl got kidnapped and raped? Yeah, and you got the video of the following the car? Yeah, the, the blog with yeah. that video right. got half a million views. Like, it was fucking huge. That's my yeah. biggest – that YouTube video got almost a million views. That yeah. It's our most viewed thing on the channel. So that was the biggest one of the year. Um, but you'd never think of it because that wasn't like one that really stands out that much. But anyway, uh, any last minute questions? Yeah, I'll definitely get to the rock, the Roxbury story. Hey, just real quick, the, the poor guy asked 20 times, yes, Norm, I know who you are, and we fight on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Jesus, man, grab a tampon and get over it. He asked like 20 times and told me to go fuck myself. I've seen it every time, and I giggled. <laughs> I'm not answering. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Um, my twelve-year-old wants you to keep talking football. We could, we could have our own football show, but a lot of people aren't here for the sport ball as much as I like it. 
I don't know where Jerry's been this week. He, like, I guess he took the week off. I don't do weeks off. Jerry Callahan does, though. Has Kylie been to court yet? No, she's lucked out because of the COVID. So the yeah. Turtle uh, Club price ranges, and maybe I could take some input from you people now about this. So what I have right now is ad-free is 10 bucks a month. Okay, so that's step one of the Turtle Club. For $5 more, $15 a month, you get ad-free and access to the – uh, weekly history podcast show that nobody else gets to watch uh, for 20 and, and you get a free glass. We're giving you free turtle boy glasses too. Uh, for $25 a month, uh, there is all everything you just heard. Plus you get, um, I think it's a t-shirt like once a month, like some shit. I forget. I have to go review it again. We came up with a bunch of shit and then $50 and a hundred dollars. If you want to do that, if you want to go big, then you can get advertising as well on the blog or, or even on here, whatever. You, you can fucking buy this space right here. Uh, uh, for 50 or 100 bucks a month. You can, <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically, you could put a, it doesn't, you could, you could put your favorite nonprofit or roast somebody. I don't give a shit. Basically, you get a banner to write whatever the fuck you want on the blog, essentially. So if you guys have any more ideas, I'd love to hear ideas. What do you guys think? No, not a yearly membership. You could do a merely yearly membership, but. It's monthly, so same shit, right? I like the T-shirt every month thing. I think yeah. that's a good idea. You come up with some good shit that only Turtle Club members get as part of yeah. whatever tier or some shit. Is there a free version? I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of Turtle Club, if you have yeah. that question. Um, let's see. And I, we and you still going to talk. Like, I'm going to do some stuff that will just be on there, too. Like maybe Brett stories might be a thing that's on there. Other shit, me and Uncle gonna figure it out. But yeah, there'll be stuff there too. And I'd encourage people to. I'd like to hear ideas. Like if you have a good idea, send me a freaking email, turtleboysports at gmail .com. I'd love to hear your ideas. Just about like what would you like? What would you want to see? Like what would you pay for? Like a lot of like people they do things like you know access to the freaking. Um, you know, uh, people like Barstool is doing one right now. Like Kirk Manhan's doing one where it's like you get to like freaking talk to big cat or something like, you know, like the stupid shit you can do. Like, so I don't, I, it's weird. I, it, it, like I wouldn't, I'd feel uncomfortable, like literally selling myself and saying like, pay me money to hang out with me. Like I'm not doing that. It's fucking weird. But uh, you know, something to that end, like if, if there's something that you'd want and you, and, be yeah, he's giving you chances like this. I didn't mean to start, chances like this to tell him what you want in there. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, I right. seen someone say, I'll be definitely be doing the 25. So, like, give us, go up, yeah. I'm sorry, but give him ideas. Yeah. I'll I mean, I, it. I'm sure yeah. he'll do as much as he can. I'll help with whatever I can. Ooh, and only, it'll be worth it. We could do it. I could do an OnlyFans. Is that, do you have to get nude for that? I'll pull my dick out for terrible. Okay. <laughs> Should I get an OnlyFans channel? You know what somebody suggested the other day, Brett, was oh. um, <laughs> Cameo. I could start doing. I could start selling myself on Cameo. Like, I, like, pay me 50 bucks, I'll fucking roast you. Or whoever. You know how many Gaffney would buy? And how sick of you you would be, You how sick you would get of talking shit about yourself? It's like, yeah. right, I'm gay Adrian Kearney, the baby fucking cheating, blah, 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 blah. And I love Josh Abrams. There's just 75 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would do mm -hmm. something like that, you know? Ah, fuck that noise. Um, I consider that Patreon for Brett Christmas cards just to make a few bucks. But then people, then you have to do what they say or you get a bad rating and then you can't get the money. And I'm not telling people, hey, I'd love to suck your cock because I'm not doing that shit. Fuck <laughs> you. I know Drew Bledsoe, son. I have some pride. <laughs> <laughs> you can be Tom Brady's backup if you want to, son. <laughs> All right, uh, I would pay for Brett to roast me. That, that, that's, that's interesting. that might be in the Turtle Club. Yeah, maybe so. Where, there'd be a 15-minute thing where me and you just go back and forth like them, the Wiggins do with the microphone with the rap bullshit, and we just yeah. take shots at each other. That might be a thing. Oh, that's well, what I'm saying. Good. You guys tell them what the fuck you want, and, yeah. and we'll do it. Yeah, let me know, guys, because I can still add shit to the Except club. the dick sucking thing. I ain't doing that. He might suck dicks for fucking Twitter follows. I ain't doing that shit either. That's I like the idea there. of Sean, like, uh, you know, monthly raffles. We're definitely going to have shit like that. Um, where if you're in the 25 one, you're automatically entered. 
into the fucking raffles for the free giveaways and shit. So we'll be doing a lot, like anything, anything. That's right. Want. I could I could record your answering machine messages for you. Yeah. <laughs> listen, cocksucker, you listen. Listen, <laughs> listen, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> listen I'm busy up, fucking like, your mom out back. Go ahead. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll wrap, whatever. Just think of something, let me know. Yeah. Uh, and I'll get the club started first, and then we'll think of some things to add in there. But anyway, guys, I, I think we're going to call it a night. It's been a good show. Uh, what a fucking audience we had tonight, huh, Brett? Yeah, that was fun. I had so, to kind of redeem myself the last week. And I'm looking forward. People have been asking. I'm not dragging out all that camera shit on a Tuesday and the mic and all that. Yeah. I'll be yeah. back on camera so sober-ish. I'll still be smoking, but on Saturday, that's only for the weekend relax show. All right, folks, I guess we will see you all on tomorrow night for the next episode of Turtle Boy Live. Peace, Turtle Riders. Uh oh. <laughs> that's a good one, Mimja. All right, bye. Seriously. <laughs>